Hi everyone, I am Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser Arts and Science College for Women, Thirchangod. Today we will learn about working with JavaScript. JavaScript can interact with your web page, some helpful coding practice for writing your own JavaScript and some shortcuts to create interactive page. The chapter is roughly split into two sections. Creating your own basic script. The first section focuses on how to write your own basic script. Most of this example work with form element using pre-written JavaScript libraries. The second section focuses on a number of scripts that have already been written and show you how you can add powerful and complex feature to your site with just a few lines of code. Practical tips for writing script. Has someone already written this script? Reusable function using external JavaScript file. Play script in a yeah, scripting folders. Has someone already write this script? There are thousands of free JavaScript already on the web. So, before you start writing a script from scratch, it is worth searching to see if someone has already done all the hard work for you. Here are couple of sites will help you got going. get hooked going. www.hearts script.com javascript kit.com webreference.com programming javascript ipt javascript.internet.com reusable function along with reusing uh, other people's script and folders you can also write code with you can reuse yourself for example you might build several sites that use a similar form that allow people to contact the site's owners Using external JavaScript file. Whenever you are going to use a script in more than one page, it's good idea to people it in an external JavaScript file. For example, if you want to create a newsletter, sign up for one each page of other site. Then you might use a script to check that the text entered into the email address box is in a valid email format rather than including this script on every page if the script lives in the external javascript file you do not have to copy and paste the same code into the server files the file size of the page is similar because the javascript is in one file that include an each page rather than repeat in a multiple page if you need to change something about the script you need to change only one script not every page that use it play script in a script folder when you use external script you should create a special script folder just as you would an image folder this help improve the organization of your site and your dictionary structure whether you need to look at or change a script you know extra exactly whether it will be you should also use interactive name for your script file so that you can find them quickly and easily form validation form validation is one of the most common tasks performed using javascript you have likely come across forms on the web that have so your prompt when you have not entered a value into a field that requires one or when you have entered the wrong kind of value this is because the form has been validated when to validate validate can happen in two places in the browser using javascript and on the server using one server language such as asp.net or php in fact application that collect the important information using form are usually validated both in the browser and the server what you can check for when it come to validating a form, you cannot always check whether user have given you to correct information. But you can check whether have give you some information in the correct format. For example, you cannot ensure that the user entered his or her correct phone number. The user could be entering any one phone numbers. But you can check it is there number rather than letter or other character and you can check that the number containing a minimum number of digits how to check a form there are several ways 
in which you can check the form usually when the user presses submit button on your form it trigger the on submit event handle on the form element which is turned calls a validation function stored either in a separate script or in head of document the function must then return true in the order for the form to be sent or if an error encountered the function return false and the users where form will not be sent checking text field you have properly seen forms on website that ask you to provide username and password and then to re-enter the password to make sure you did not mismatch something select box option when you want to work with your drop down select box the select box have very helpful property called select index which tells you which option the user has selected select box example select box example image radio buttons a group of radio button is different from other form control in that only one option from a group can selected at a time and all member of the group share the value name attribute examples programs example image checkbox checkbox allow user to select zero one or more items from a select choice as with radio button when your group of checkbox share the same there are mad the valuable in javascript program thank you